All right, let's move to the market now. Another market, the cryptocurrency market, that did uh, very poorly on Friday, I believe. But uh, I don't know what Ladi has for us. Oh, Ladi has a neutral board. Yeah. Ladi, you had a great weekend, obviously, from from, from uh, bloody red, <laughs> <laughs> from bloody red to yeah. at least. I mean, back to neutral. Quite incredible, and all because in a of couple of silicon, hours, a couple of days. Yeah. Oh, because of Silicon, silicon Valley, Valley Bank. Bank. Yeah, oh. we saw. All risk uh, assets, you know, get hammered. Uh, last week, Friday, we saw it was a bloodbath, and now we're starting to see some recovery. Just because just there because might be you guys think that because the banks uh, or all of this has happened because of hiking interest rates, exactly. then the Fed may not hike interest rates. May so not. May not. May not. And we already it's a have huge bet <laughs> because uh, they might just say, you know what, we're still we'll fighting go inflation. Ahead. We're still going to keep raising rates, but who knows? And we know things are happening in the bank yeah. in the U.S. Uh, I mean, after the Silicon Valley, I think a lot of people tr are trying to get their funds off the banks or something. Yeah, so some are moving funds around, trying to, you know, put it in an another bank that seems like they have enough liquidity. You know, so all of that is, you so know, back test, in the banking sector. So it's a sector. testing time for the banks yeah, in the United States. Yeah, stress tests. States. Huge stress Huge test. But we'll see, how, we'll see how it plays out. Because right. even here, our banks have been through a lot. <laughs> <laughs> even here in Nigeria. So I do want to come back <laughs> home, lad. It's too close. I, I know. It's too close. I know it's too close. <laughs> but all banks are going through a lot. Uh, but if you look at the sentiments of the market now, uh, that's it. Neutral market cap, 1.03 trillion, up 7.73%. After, you know, hitting below that $1 trillion level last week, back up there, 1.03. Uh, volume traded up 5.38%. And we see Bitcoin dominance also inching up 42.29%. Uh, Let's look at the price uh, of Bitcoin this morning, $22,441, up big 8.96%. After going below that uh, 20K level on Friday, we're back up there, volume traded $34.64 billion. Let's look at Ethereum now. Back at, at that 1,600 level, also up 8.23%. And we see volume, $12.87 billion. More volume uh, this morning than what we had over the weekend. Let's look at top alts by market cap. We see it's all green with um, Cardano, biggest mover up, 33 cents, up 9.50%. XRP still being quite a laggard, even though we're seeing uh, other top alts by market cap jump uh, this morning. Let's bring in Michael Nadji now, financial market analyst. Uh, join us via Zoom. Uh, great to have you, Michael. Good morning. Good morning, Laddie. Good morning. Yeah, so, uh, Michael, this uh, market has been through a lot. We've seen uh, Luna collapse, Three Arrows, Celsius, BlockFi, FTX, Genesis, BUSD, st issue with stable coins, and we still have now USDC at the peg. Now, Silicon Valley Bank, after Silvergate, this market has been through a lot, and I'm wondering why Bitcoin is not below 10K at this time. Well, Bitcoin is the is the only bearer uh, risk asset that exists outside the financial system. Bitcoin was essentially, for all, all intents and purposes, created for moments like this. Uh, in the first Bitcoin block, uh, Satoshi inscribed uh, the banks are on the brink. Uh, another, the, um, the chairman has, uh, uh, the chancellor has instituted another bailout. And here we are about 12 years later, 13 years later, and another bailout has started. Uh, essentially, uh, beginning, of the, uh, beginning of the year, uh, of last year, the Fed was, you know, hiking rates and here we are. They have finally broken something in the economy. We're finally having our first set of bank failures, which usually indicates um, this is the beginning of the, uh, you know, of the end of the uh, um, the the, the, rece uh, the the recession. Um, so you're going to see multiple bank failures. It's going to be a big week. Um, I think uh, FRC uh, First Republic Bank is looking to be on the chopping block as well. The most important thing I think for most people on risk assets is the Fed has come out and said that they're they're um, they're going to be backstopping uh, a lot of um, you know a lot of the systematic risk that's appearing. Um, that effectively means that um, the um, the QE engine is back on. So for all intensive purposes, um, the bull market is back. Um, so it, well, it's not going to happen immediately, but you know we have the the uh, support of the uh, money supply going up. And so what naturally happens is whenever you have the money supply ramp up, Bitcoin always follows because Bitcoin sucks that excess liquidity out of the system. So I think you know we, we, we sh this is the beginning of 
that next ramp up to um, you know higher numbers for Bitcoin. Does it happen instantly? No, but this is what you need to set that foundation. So ultimately, a couple more bank failures here and there, and you know some more institutions fail. Sadly, it's going to have to happen. We're going to have to flush out the excess. Um, you've seen the Fed funds rate, yeah, the Fed futures rate has been cut from 2024, expecting some cuts to end of this year. So frankly, the timeline has moved up. Um, these bank failures have definitely, definitely, definitely shifted the perspective of the Fed. Um, so they're going to be they're going to be willing to um, backstop the economy more now rather than hurt it, because you, you know they, this, this systematic risk we haven't even seen what's happened yet. The markets aren't open. It could just get worse, frankly. Um, so you know I think right. risk assets are going to catch a bit finally after months and months of selling selling off after a, a, a tight tighter Fed. So this is this is frankly good for for Bitcoin because this is what we need uh, to start that ascent. So I guess there's the first uh, economic bad news that's actually good uh, for for <laughs> Bitcoin at this time. Yeah. Bad news, meaning bad news uh, at this point. Thank you so much, uh, Michael Naji, financial market analyst. Thank you. Thank you, lady. Yeah, so um, in the, well, we still have some uh, economic data to look out for, U.S. CPI data coming out tomorrow. We'll see if uh, that will still propel the uh, Fed to actually go on with the rate hiking cycle. And Nigeria's. Yes, and Nigeria's, Nigeria's obviously. Nigeria's inflation yeah. is also expected yeah, this week, even though we know the CBN has been you quite busy. You are in Nigeria. <laughs> yeah, even though we know the CBN has been quite busy and uh, yes. be interesting to see uh, no, what it is. The next, CBN has the been NPC. quite busy. We've been waiting to hear from the CBN on the Supreme Court ruling. To yeah, help us that's clear why I said the they've air. been busy. They, you know, okay, that's responded. why we haven't heard from them. Yes, they haven't oh, responded okay, yet. Oh, okay, sorry. I, exactly. I, okay, my bad. <laughs> All right, laddie, thank you. Thank you. See you at 1.30, Business Incorporated. So that's it. Uh, the first 55 minutes for this week. We do have 220 other minutes left for this week. You don't want to miss it. As we prepare uh, for the election on Saturday, we'll be bringing to you some of those promises from the candidates. And, of course, uh, we'll have explanation on how it could work, how much of them will be true how many of them can happen how much of them are realistic stick around to visit this morning i'm in john mekwa i'll see you tomorrow